dumbbell reverse fly, you'll have two dumbbells, one in each hand, and I'll show you that in just a second. Start with your feet parallel, hip width apart, knees soft, core engaged, and shoulders down and back. Hinge at your hips to lower down at your highest point, you'd be at about a 45 degree angle, at your lowest point, if you're comfortable going this low, you'd be just about above parallel with your torso from the floor. Make sure that your back remains flat though. So if you come down and you're not able to maintain that flat back, try to come up to that 45 degree angle. If even still your back is rounding or you're having low back pain, use the modification that I'll show you in just a moment. Okay, from here, turn your palms to face toward each other with your elbows softly bent. We'll inhale and now exhale. Draw your shoulder blades together as you open your arms out to the side keeping that soft bend through your elbows. At the highest point of this, our hands would be aligned with about our shoulders, and you should feel the muscles between your shoulder blades working hard to achieve this. Inhale down, keeping your gaze diagonally down at the floor, and exhale, fly up. All right, so with dumbbells, you might wanna go a little bit lighter than you would with a regular bent over row for this exercise, because we're extending our arms out to the side. Inhale, and now exhale, arms go wide. If you are unable to maintain proper form, have any low back pain, or just wanna make this a little bit easier for yourself, you can hold on to a box, bench, chair, couch, whatever works for you. you. Get into the position, you'll just use one arm, draw your shoulders down and back again, and from here, open out to the side. You can also take a, st a staggered stance if that's more comfortable for you. 